So the short answer is, yeah, alcohol does affect your progress. It has a huge effect on your progress. Um, I'm not telling you to give it up. I'm not telling you not to drink it. It's literally all about what makes you happy in life. Like, you're here once, so it's all about your priorities. If you prioritize progress over alcohol, then this would be a good video for you. But if you're like, I don't really give a shit about the negatives of alcohol, I just want to enjoy my drinks, get drunk, and have a good time, and that is fine, like whatever you prioritize. But I'm gonna explain how it affects you and why it affects you. So I was gonna make today's video on the beach for y'all, but the winds are fucking insane. So whether you can even hear this or not, I do not know. So we're gonna go back home and I'm gonna explain everything. You'll hear a lot of PTs and coaches and stuff say, no, it's fine, you can drink, it's not going to affect your progress. And I don't know if the reason is because they're limited with their knowledge or because they just know that like the majority of people enjoy alcohol and it's a good way to get clients on and they're like, just basically seeing people as a transaction rather than caring about their progress. Um, but yeah, alcohol will have a huge effect on your progress. So. You hear like people say, oh, it's only like this amount of calories or it's only that amount of calories. But it's not about the calories in the alcohol, it's about how they're used and what it does to the body. But yeah, if you are drinking, definitely look for your lower calorie drink. So like, go for like a zero sugar mix or with a spirit rather than like a beer. Like beers can be like over 200 calorie. And if you have one of them messy nights, you can be sitting at like 2K calories. Yeah, if you're only drinking like one or two drinks, it's not gonna have that negative effect. But let's be honest, who, who drinks one or two drinks? If you drink, you're drinking to get absolutely smashed. There might be a few people who just enjoy like one, one drink here and there, and that's fine, like you'll be, you'll be sweet. But this is for the majority of people who are out here getting absolutely fucked and not remembering the night. Oh so yeah, definitely stick to your lower calorie drinks. But like I said, I want you to remember this, this point, keep this point in your head. It's not the calories that are the issue. It's how the calories are utilized and the surrounding behaviors. When alcohol is consumed, your body will absorb it rapidly and it will treat it a similar way to the way the body treats poison. So it will put the metabolism of all other nutrients on hold until the alcohol is eliminated from the body. So like your carbs and fats you've uh, consumed throughout the day are gonna more than likely be stored as fat. So when you are drinking alcohol, you wanna try and keep like, your carbs and fats as low as possible. But then obviously, if you do do that, you're gonna get absolutely fucked and just be absolutely smashed. So it's, it's a hard one trying to find that balance. So you can see straight away how the alcohol, the effects of the calories are gonna be negative towards your progress. And then after that, we've got the surrounding behavior that come with the alcohol so you might fancy a cheeky little doner kebab or the next day as well you're probably going to fancy a dominoes you're going to be sluggish all day you're going to be feeling shit so your energy expenditure the next day is going to be lower you're probably going to order that takeaway so you're going to be eating more shitty foods but also you're going to sleep bad like you're not going to be fully rested and if you do train the next day you've done well to get in the gym but your session is going to be shit and it just causes this negative like domino effect so you can see how the surrounding behaviors do have a massive effect so the following week obviously you're going to be in higher cows from the alcohol alcohol, uh, the shitty foods you consumed, the lower energy expenditure. When you do train, it's going to be a shit session. Your body's going to be dehydrated from the alcohol. So you can see how it just negatively goes downhill. So it's not necessarily the, al the calories from the alcohol itself, which can be a negative effect, but the surrounding behaviors and how the calories are utilized. And one of the biggest negatives, uh, especially if you're like here to build muscle, if, if your progress is based around building muscle, so it will decrease your testosterone by up to 23% and it will decrease your muscle protein synthesis by 24 to 37%. So that is huge numbers. So you can imagine the, the combination of lack of sleep, lack of recovery, shitty foods, decrease of muscle protein synthesis, decrease of testosterone, how this negative spiral begins. Obviously your training is gonna be shit as well. So it's gonna have a huge effect on your progress. And that's why it makes me laugh when you hear people say, oh no, you can go out once a week and get smashed, but that's where it's gonna cause that yo-yo effect. So you're gonna be making progress throughout the week and then go downhill, go up, go down, and you're just constantly gonna be in this cycle. So when you hear people say, oh, like, it's all right in moderation, that doesn't mean like once a week you can get smashed because by the time you get back on track, you're gonna be falling off again. So I'd say the absolute most you wanna be drinking is once every two weeks. If, if like your progress, it means a lot to you if it actual is something that gets you excited you know but like I said it, it, I'm not here to tell you not to drink alcohol you might not prioritize alcohol you can stay in shape by drinking well and um, by drinking stay in shape by drinking well you can stay in shape by drinking 
but you're just going to have to understand you're not really going to progress. It's just going to be that yo-yo effect of making progress, falling off, making progress, falling off. And that's fine if that's the lifestyle you want, but this is for the people who've got them big goals, who want to achieve that dream physique, want to do this, that, the other. These are the people that are going to have to make that sacrifice. But when you do make that sacrifice and you get yourself in some insane shape, that's when you can have that balance. Like you have to earn your balance when it comes to your dream physique. So you get that dream physique and then you can afford to go downhill because when you do work back up and you're doing this yo-yo effect, you're just going to sort of maintain kind of thing. So don't think like you're going to have to give up alcohol for your whole life. When you achieve that physique, you can enjoy the balance. I do want you to have a little think about whether you feel like alcohol is beneficial to you or not like some people i completely understand like they make unbelievable memories on it they have a sick time but then other people i feel like it's such a negative thing they're doing it to hide their emotions escape reality and it's just a really negative thing from and the, the best way to look at it is look at the periods of your life where you felt most happy was that a period of life where you was chasing goals and like strictly away from alcohol just smashing life or was it a period when you was out drinking all the time? And I'm not saying there's a right or wrong answer for it. Everyone's different. Some people work well with it. Me personally, I don't drink. I, um, I used to drink constantly. Not like a fucking alcoholic, but like I'd be getting smashed like every Friday. You know the way you do when you're younger, like go clubbing every Friday, you're getting absolutely smashed. And I was loving it at the time. So at that period of my life, I wouldn't change it at all. But then I got to a stage where I was like, right, I've got one life. I don't want to fucking be wasting it like this. I want to get after it. I want to achieve shit. I want to change my family's lives. I want to just, yeah, just there's so much more to life than alcohol for myself. Uh, so definitely have that deeper thought about it. I'm probably going to offend some people saying that. But I do understand for some people it is like uh, an enjoyable thing. But yeah, definitely have that thought. But thank you for watching the video. Um, sorry, I don't know if I'll be able to get any like effects and shit in it. I'm not like good at editing. But I just like would, if I can't do it, just imagine like there's a bottle of Stella here and like, a bottle of Echo Falls here, just imagine effects. You're gonna to have to use your imagination if I can't do it. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it beneficial. Um, and yeah, fucking get smashed after the video. Nah, but new video every Sunday and Wednesday, 6.30, thank you.